Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are in White Pigeon, Michigan, continuing our travels uh, following Tim Miller's personal journey to 300 bushel corn. Tim, you're out harvesting today. Uh, what's some of the yields that you're seeing in the 300 bushel challenge? The one hybrid, the 5939, went 254. 254. So, yep. so tell me, so on this particular farm right here, you've got some sandy conditions, you are irrigated. What's some of the yields like where you're not being able to irrigate and put water on some of these soils? Well, we're less than 1% organic matter, and them yields would be about 60 bushels on the, 60 bushels an acre on the monitor, planted at like 24,000 plants per acre. So you've got a difference of about 200 bushel per acre where you're running some of your high management style operations with your irrigation and, and, and then just the agronomic uh, treatments that you're applying to your corn. 200 bushel per acre, I think that's tremendous. Do you think it paid for all of the, the inputs and the costs you had associated with, with the, the agronomic treatments? Well, I didn't get carried away with the cost. I mean, I'm trying to make it, I mean, corn's cheap. So one thing we had to do, we had so much rain early, I had to put on a little more nitrogen than I'm used to, but we only ended up at 220 pounds. And my rule of thumb is a pound of, a pound of N for a bushel of corn is a good deal. So we were always shooting for that, and I was a little bit under it, and so we're good. So with the irrigation pivot, you were putting nitrogen through the pivot and fertigating. How many times did you do that, and, and how many pounds of nitrogen were you applying at each trip? Most of the time when I fertigate, I'll go 10 gallons through the pivot, and I like to put a little potash in with it when I'm doing that. Um, and then we split app. We drop with the, the haggy. We went on um, three twice with the Hagee drop and most of the time we'll run cultures and just put down the 50 gallons at one shot but this year had to divide it up I think we did uh, five total trips. Let's talk about some of the individual treatments you used in the 300 bushel challenge. You mentioned northern corn leaf blight was a challenge this year and you had to come in and put some fungicides on. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, when it gets dry out here on the sand we get, we get um, blights. My problem is if you see it it's usually too late. So we we put it down with the Hagee. We went right across there, right at um, right before Tassel, and we seen you know it got dry in August. It flat out that rain, and you can see it firing up. And I just never had a good experience with anything. Once you see it, it's usually too late. The good things you mentioned the nitrogen. That's obviously a plus. We've talked about the fungicide. Is there anything else? that you think worked really well. There was a pretty good window in there between between sprout and about the fourth leaf that <clears throat> you can really see it drags. And with that pop-up this year, even though we had a bunch of rain, I see no drag there. And that's one thing I did learn that uh, I'm a big fan of pop-up after this year. You know, we didn't hit 300 bushel <clears throat> on this farm, but considering the circumstances, considering the year we had, Tim had a very successful year. Again, running 260 bushel corn clear down to 60 bushel corn. So he's doing some of the right things. Just in his 300 bushel challenge, seeing a 40 bushel increase in some of the management style offerings that he's doing, tremendous success.